Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna discuss five reasons why I think Relic guitars are better. Let's get it. Admittingly so, this may be a little bit of a clickbaity video um, clearly, I don't think that Relic guitars are necessarily better than any other kind of guitar or non-Relic guitars, I should say. But I do have opinions on why I do prefer Relic guitars over non-Relic guitars. Um, and today we're going to discuss those reasons. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Reason number one lack of paint. This theory started years ago for me after watching this Fender video with John Mayer. Now I'm not a John Mayer fanboy like a lot of guitarists out there. He is a great guitarist, great songwriter, I enjoy his music very much, but I'm also not the kind of guy who would blindly buy into anything that he prescribes to per se. I enjoy his opinions, but I think that some guitarists take it way, way too far. But when he was talking about his black one, the guitar that he built with Fender a long time ago, he discussed how he believed that having paint on certain areas of the guitar and randomly not having paint on certain areas of the guitar made the difference. The fact that there was some wood exposed essentially over time, um, being exposed to elements, sweat, the atmosphere would ultimately lend itself to making the guitar sound better or even different over the years. It's almost like it's collecting your DNA and just growing with you as you grow older and as a more mature guitarist. Especially when it comes to certain finishes, more boutique style builders, especially ones who are trying to mimic the golden age of guitar making, are using certain lacquers and it makes a difference in my opinion. This particular guitar doesn't have any kind of heavy finish at all, just a very light coat of sort of protection on it. Other than that, it's pretty much fully exposed and I think it has gotten better over the years. For a very long time, this was my number one guitar and I only use this one and it shows. Even in the fretting, which is why you don't see me play it too often, it unfortunately needs a fret job. And as I mentioned, it's just gotten better over the years. Moving right along to reason number two, they feel broken in. I think this is more so mental than anything else. The fact that you see a guitar that doesn't look pristine and perfect and like, you know, afraid to ding it up, you automatically feel like the guitar is almost like played for you. Even a brand new version. This was a brand new guitar when it got to me and it looked just like this already with the neck already kind of sanded down and broken in already. And it just gave it the impression and the feel like this guitar had been played for a very, very long time. And therefore it gave me confidence to play this guitar in a way that I wouldn't approach a brand new guitar. It just immediately felt like it was something that I could could play and take right into a gig versus have to kind of break it in. You know, you know that feeling of getting a brand new guitar. It's great. It suits you well, but it almost feels like it needs to adjust to the climate and to, I don't know, the setup that you prefer. And with Relic guitars, I tend to not feel that. I feel like they are already kind of ready to go in some odd way. Again, I will admit, I do think this is more mental than anything else. I'm not sure if we really got down to brass tacks that it, there is a difference, but in my opinion, I feel a difference. Reason number three, they're affordable in comparison. A lot of times when you see guitars like this one or some of the other guitars that I have, like my Nash T52, those guitars are specifically made to look like they were built in their era, like 1952, for example. And if you look at those guitars, though pricing does vary uh, dramatically depending on how well it was maintained or how original the parts are, still, even at a low end, you're looking at about a $7,000 investment. Not to mention that brands like Fender are still in the game of making those kind of guitars again and therefore offer what we all know as Fender Custom Shop. And though I've seen Fender Custom Shops go for as little as 4,500, which is still a lot of money, the average cost from what I've seen ranges between 68 to about $7,500. That's a lot of money in my opinion. Now some of you out there may not think so, maybe you have money that you can spend like that on an instrument, but me, I don't. That's why I really enjoy manufacturers like Nash or maybe Fano who, though they're not cheap instruments, not in the least, they're definitely more affordable in comparison to the competitors that are out there or to the reality of what they are mimicking in their builds. Reason number four kind of goes right in alignment with reason number three. They are vintage, but yet modern. 
let me explain. Imagine spending $7,500 or whatever on a very vintage guitar, or imagine trying to find one of those like 59 Gold Top Les Pauls, they go for like $45,000, and you get your hands on one and you play it and it absolutely sucks. I mean, the reality is that it probably sounds great, but the feel, the intonation, the fretting, uh, the, the the pots, the wires, they're, they're noisy. It's not the most kind of dependable guitar. And for very good reason. It was made in the 50s, right? It's a very, very old instrument. So one of the reasons why I like Relic guitars is because those are guitars that were built now, recently, in recent years, and only made to look like they were built a long time ago. And though builders and manufacturers do try to stick to original components, the reality is they have to modernize it in one way or another. For example, this guitar that I'm holding in my hand. Though it is made to look like a very, very old, for example, Les Paul Jr clearly we've used modern day components on here though this Bigsby looks very old it actually is a brand new Bigsby that was simply relic to look like it was old or these pickups even these pickups were built just a couple of months ago for me just specifically for me but the pickup cover was sanded down just to make it look like it was in the guitar for a long long time why is that so important to me well I think it's kind of like comparing it to an old house right you may like the style the look of the old house but you will not like the kind of torture that you're going to be going through if you don't fix up the roof right the roof could be a hundred years old you'll have a ton of leaks it won't be in compliance so inevitably you have to invest you have to fix that roof and for me that's what a relic guitar is it's almost like fixing things that could have gone wrong had you legitimately had a 50 60 year old guitar in your possession and reason number five last but certainly not least the freedom to literally destroy your guitar not not really. Some guitarists refer to it as the freedom to ding. Essentially not being scared to, for example, hit the headstock when you turn too fast while the guitar is on your shoulders or the pick scratches that you will inevitably inherit over time. These are things that sometimes freak guitarists out, especially on brand new guitars. But with Relic guitars, you don't feel that way necessarily because it's already been scratched up. It's already been scuffed up and therefore you're not afraid of these little things, these little nicks, these little small little minor things that don't affect the playability or the integrity of the guitar in any kind of way. There is a sense of peace of mind in my personal opinion. You feel more comfortable picking up a guitar that looks like it's been played and worn and loved versus a guitar that's so brand new, so pristine, so nice, you're just afraid to even play it truly the way you would normally play a guitar. And there it is. Those are the five reasons why I think Relic guitars are quote unquote better. I know this is a controversial topic, so let me have it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Be kind to one another and to me. I certainly love all kinds of instruments. Certainly Relic guitars are not the only ones I have and own as well. You guys know I have nice, beautiful, brand new looking guitars and I keep them nice as well and I take care of them. But there's just something about the Relic ones that make me feel more comfortable, that's all. While you're in the comment section, go ahead and do all the other things that help this channel grow. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every time I upload a video. Feel free to check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below. Clicking on those links will help this channel just a little bit there's also a donation link that's right you can donate directly to the channel I'll get it it helps me purchase gear here and fund this channel and keep it going and keep content coming in thank you all so much for watching and until next week